Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I look strange, right? Yes, I do, because I have, for the first time in like, I wanna say, honestly, maybe eight years, I have colored contacts in. It is weird, it is strange, very weird. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that I do wear contacts. I am pretty much, I can't see. If I don't have contacts in, I cannot see far. If I don't have contacts in, I definitely cannot drive. <laughs> No, I cannot. So I always have to have glasses with me. And what's really funny is that um, in high school, I used to wear, so I have hazel eyes. Originally, my eyes are hazel. And in high school, I used to have colored contacts. I used to buy brown, blue, and then, I don't know. I, like, I was looking back at pictures of myself, and I'm like, what was I thinking? My eyes are like a nice hazel green without any color contacts. They're really, really pretty, and I just wish I embraced my natural beauty. But sometimes color contacts are really fun to spice it up, and I thought for Halloween, you know, maybe I'll get myself a lighter pair. So basically, a company reached out to me. They're called Iris Beauty. I've never heard of them before. They do different things. They do color contacts. They do regular contacts. They're all FDA approved. Um, they're from the United States. They do magnetic lashes, eyebrow pencils, eyeliner. So what we're going to do on camera, they sent me some of their products, and I'm just going to try and review them for you. This is not a sponsored or paid video. These are all my thoughts and my opinions. And I'm also going to link down below. They gave me a coupon code. I think it's 15% off, so I'll link that down below just in case anybody wants to log on after and buy anything. So these contacts that I have on, they're from Iris Beauty. They are in the style glam gray. When you open up the package, you get your little um, sealed contact like this. And then they also give you your case because you can keep reusing them, obviously. Um, if you've never worn contacts before, if you do not have a vision problem, they do make the same colored ones without any vision to them. So if you do not need vision, you can still buy these. They're great for Halloween. They're affordable if you're looking for something to change your eye color without being too pricey. Definitely, I would check them out. I've been wearing them. They're comfortable. I can see they're my prescription and they work. I think they look really cool. So that's how the contacts come. And I had to already put them on before I got on camera because I le like I legit cannot do my makeup. I cannot see without contacts in my eyes. So, so far I'm loving them. That's my two little cases that I have in. Okay, so the next product we're gonna dive into, this is their Ultra Defining Eyeliner. Haven't opened it and I haven't tried it yet. I did all my makeup obviously before I came on camera except for my eyeliner and my eyebrows and eyelashes. I'm trying out new products from them, but everything I've used will be listed down below in the description bar just in case you are wondering. This is the eyeliner. This is what it looks like. Cute little packaging. And then we have a little felt tip applicator. It comes out like hardcore, liquidy, kind of, it's super pigmented, super dark, comes out super, super quick. I thought it would drag a little bit, but no dragging here. It just goes on super smooth. But I think from the looks of it, it might take a little bit to dry down. So I'm going to do some sort of eyeliner. I don't want to really ruin my eye look because I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully this goes smoothly. I think we'll start, because I don't know if I'm going to do a wing yet. I'll start in the inner corner of my eye. So the eyeliner just went on super smooth. It was like, there was no tugging um, and it goes on really, really black. I don't think I'm gonna do a wing just because I like the way that my eyeshadow is looking without that wing. So we're gonna leave it just as a line. Honestly, I am super impressed with this eyeliner. I didn't have, um, I didn't have amazing expectations for it. I know, because eyeliner, I'm sorry, it's super hard to do. And especially when you're going over top of a dramatic eyeshadow like I have on today, a lot of the times the black, it doesn't go black. You can kind of see your eyeshadow popping through. This one though, it's just gone on super smooth, super pigmented, and there is no eyeshadow popping through. So, so far, I'm really impressed with it. And on my hand, it has completely, completely dried down to the point where it is not smudging, budging, coming off this is amazing like why can't other brands do this I don't know I'm gonna wear it see how it lasts all day but so far this liner it could be a possibility of being an all-time favorite I don't know I have never applied magnetic lashes before in my life and it doesn't say in the instructions if I should be applying mascara before or after but I think that I should be applying it before because I think it would just ruin the magnetic lashes so I'm gonna go in first with a coat of mascara 
Okay, now before I apply the magnetic lashes, let's try the brow pencil because I'm curious because the eyeliner is amazing. So maybe the brow pencil would be great. I don't know about the color. I didn't get to pick or anything, so hopefully it will work for me. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's very sleek and sophisticated. Then when you go into the back part, you get your spoolie, which is perfect. The front is like a benefit kind of gimme brown. has that triangle kind of pointed tip on it. It looks a little bit dark for me, like a lot of it dark, but let's try it out. For the sake of the video, let's give it a go. So let me brush my crazy eyebrows down. Does it even have a color? There's no color on this, and it makes me think maybe it only comes in one shade. Um, this shade definitely is a little bit too dark for me, and I would say it has a little bit of a red undertone in it. Yeah, it's definitely red, the undertone. So if you're a redhead or have brown hair with like some red running through it, this would be great. It's going on super easy. Definitely reminds me of the Benefit Goof Proof, the way it's going on. So here is one eyebrow with the product, and then this is the other eyebrow without. Big, huge, humongous difference. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a little bit of my Essence Make Me Brow in the shade 1 through this brow, just because it will help tone down the redness, because I want to be able to wear this out today and not look weird. So I'm just going to run this brow product through, which will kind of neutralize the color a little bit more. If it was ashy, it would be probably perfect. But the way it's applying is excellent. It goes on really smoothly, effortlessly, and honestly reminds me of the Benefit one so much. Okay, so next I am moving on to my magnetic lashes. So they have different styles on the website. I think there's about four. I picked this one, and I don't even know. Like, what is it called? I don't know. Oh my gosh. If you're having trouble, it says keep practicing and check out their tutorial online at irisbeauty.com. So I'm going to give it a go and hope for the best. And I don't really know what I'm doing, but hell. Okay, so basically the there's two sets with my magnetics showing, the magnetic like, piece. So that one obviously goes underneath your eyelash. And then there's two pieces with a dark magnetic thing, that which obviously go on the top. So we're going to, I don't know, zoom you in. So I'm going to take this piece with the magnetics facing down and just place it along the lash line. I'm taking this piece here, see how the magnetics are showing? And I'm going to stick it underneath the lashes. So here's my first attempt. It is not close enough to the lash line, it kind of moved, it's kind of hard to get it super close. So let's, let's just try again. This was definitely a better attempt. It's still definitely not perfect whatsoever. You can kind of see a little piece of the magnet there, but not bad. Honestly, I could totally see why people would like these magnetic lashes because I don't find them that hard to apply, to be quite honest with you. I find fake lashes, uh, for beginners, the ones with the glue, fake lashes are very, very, very hard to apply, and I get the frustration that people get with it. This magnetic thing is not too bad. I think it will take some practice, but I really think it's not too bad you can kind of see the magnet pieces a little bit but it's it's obviously too because i don't have it on 100 percent properly but the way my lashes look they look super fluffy and nice and i'm really liking it definitely will practice at it i do like it um but overall i'm really impressed with this brand i've never even heard of before whatsoever if you do wear contacts for vision they totally will have your prescription online that you can pick a color with and if you do not need contacts for vision you can totally get a pair without and you can just wear them for cool everyday fun or special occasions i think these are really cool and i definitely will be rocking them with some halloween looks um I think that this liquid eyeliner so far is like, it's fabulous. It's absolutely fabulous. It went on like a dream. It didn't come off. I just licked my finger. Not moving. Not moving. So, so far, this eyeliner to me is like the best product. It's amazing. Highly amazing. I can't believe how good it is, actually. I'm, I'm floored. Um, obviously, the eyebrow pencil, I think that it went on really nicely. I don't like the color. I'm not sure if they have more than one color. I will definitely link, um, I'll definitely list below if they have more than one. But if this is the only color they have, it's too dark, too red. It would only work for probably a handful amount of people. But the way that the product did apply to the eyebrows was super easy. Really liked the packaging, how they include a nice big spoolie at the end. So that was good. And these magnetic lashes. 
for the first time trying them, I think that they are nice. And I think they look really, really natural. And I think with a couple more practice tries, I think I'd get the hang of these. And for people that find gluing strip lashes on very, very hard, I think that you'll like this. I think it will take a couple times to get the hang of it. But in the end, I think you will prevail. Okay guys, so this will be the end of my video. I really hope you did enjoy my Iris Beauty review. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe and I will leave a coupon code down below just in case you are interested in purchasing anything from today. And that will be it. So thank you for watching. Goodbye. Toodaloo. Au revoir. Au revoir. Au revoir.